If you are not a fan of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus's current colour options, well, here's a brand new one from Samsung called Jenny Red. And yes, you heard that right, it's Jenny from Blackpink. Tesco Malaysia is also finally rolling out its scan and shop feature to cover all stores nationwide. Despite the cancellation of MWC 2020 and Facebook Global Marketing Conference due to COVID-19 concerns, Google I.O. 2020 is still going ahead as scheduled. They have just opened registration for the annual developer conference that's taking place on the 12th to 14th of May 2020 at Mountain View, California. To participate, you will need to submit an application which will be selected through a lucky draw process. Applications will be closed on the 25th of February at 5pm PST and if you are selected, you will be informed by email on the next day. A general admission ticket is going for $1,150, which is around 4,819 ringgit, while an academic ticket is much cheaper at $375, which is around 1,571 ringgit. You'll need to be a full-time student, professor, faculty or staff member of a high school or college to be eligible for the academic pass. You must also provide your payment details during the registration. However, your card will only be charged if your application is successful. The Samsung Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus are currently available for pre-orders and the only flashy colour options are Cloud Blue and Cloud Pink. If you're looking for something more striking, there's a special S20 Plus that's called Jenny Red. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus Jenny Red Edition is exclusive to South Korea's KT 5G network and it is going for 1,353,000 won, which is around 4,699 ringgit. Unlike the version that's offered in Malaysia, there's a 5G model and it has 12GB of RAM with 256GB of storage. To match the Aura Red smartphone, there's also a Galaxy Buds Plus that comes in red. Will you be interested in getting this if it arrives in Malaysia? Samsung Electronics has shut down its mobile device factory in South Korea after a confirmed coronavirus case was reported at its complex. According to reports, Samsung Electronics is shutting down the floor where the infected employee had worked until the morning of 25th of February 2020. The affected employee is said to be a member of the wireless division which is in charge of smartphone production. Samsung's COVID-19 task force has informed all employees that they are shutting the Gumi plant for two days and they have urged all staff to use face masks when they return back to work. Those that have come in contact with the infected employee are placed in self-quarantine and Samsung has taken steps to have them tested for possible infection. Tesco Malaysia is rolling out its scan and shop feature and this is an app-based feature which allows you to get real-time product pricing and can speed up your checkout process at the store. According to Tesco, 59 out of 60 stores have been equipped with the scan and shop feature. The Tesco Extra Salaya outlet will support the feature by June 2020. The scan and shop app requires no registration and you can use it straight away by scanning the QR code that's displayed at the store. You'll get to see the price of every scan item before you put it into your physical basket or cart. And when you're done with your shopping, you just show the barcode at the cashier. You can proceed to pay without taking your items out from your shopping cart which can save a lot of time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And also click on the notification bell icon so you can stay updated to our future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!